friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play Wanted Dead or Alive as recorded by Bon Jovi on guitar. Now, in this video, I'm gonna break down the intro guitar part, that arpeggiated figure that you heard me play at the top of this video, and then I'm gonna make another video that breaks down how to play the chords and just the main rhythm guitar part throughout the entire song. Now this part uses a technique called arpeggio picking, and it's a pretty advanced technique, so take your time with this. Now there's other videos on YouTube that actually play this finger style without a pick, but what's on the original recording is for sure a pick, but there is a little bit of hybrid picking in there as well that I'm gonna explain as we go through it. Before before we dive into it, I want to hook you up with a gift right away though at the first link down below. I've got a free tab sample pack and these are some exclusive tabs that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel and they're just going to make learning from my videos so much easier. So check that out at johnmcclennan.com slash tabs. All right, well with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Wanted Dead or Alive as recorded by Bon Jovi on guitar. Now we're gonna start off with this really cool arpeggio picked figure. Here's what it sounds like. Three E and a, four E and a. <laughs> All right, this part is really based off the interval of a sixth, and we're gonna be using two different shapes here and moving across the entire neck, pretty much. We're gonna start out with our middle finger on the 14th fret of the third string. And then put your index finger on the 13th fret of the first string. So we've got a string in between those two fretted notes. And we're gonna start with this pattern with the picking hand. It's gonna go. And the strings that I'm playing there are four, three, one, three. And we're gonna continue that motion through all of these different shapes as we move across the fretboard. So. You just wanna get used to that picking pattern. You know, a lot of People play it finger style, but the way that Richie Sambora actually plays it, you can see live, is he's just using a pick. So it's a real quick arpeggio picked part. Then we move down to 12 and 12. So we're always gonna be with this shape on the third string and then the first string. So we've got this shape, then we move to 12 and 12. And do that same figure. Again, strings four, three, one, three for the picking pattern. Then we go. Same shape, 12 and 12, but now drop down to 10 and 10. Then we go to nine on the third string and eight on the first string. So that's this shape. So we're kind, of, we're kind of alternating between two different shapes. The one where your fingers are one fret apart and then the shape where your fingers are lined up on the same fret. So here it is. Then we drop down to the fifth fret, five and five. So it's that second shape. Then we go to four and three, that's four on the third string and three on the first string. Okay, now here we're gonna vary the pattern just slightly. So we start the same way, four, three, one, three, with the picking hand over here. Then we go, and we slide, we, we get to that last note. And then we go back up to the first string and we slide the whole shape, so this note's still ringing out. And that's one thing that's super important to getting this riff to sound right, is the notes have to ring out. You can't have it like... It's all gotta be held down, and then of course with the 12 string, you know, it gets a glorious effect. <laughs> A 
Okay, then we pick that first string, slide. Now here, I use hybrid picking on the last note, and that's a pinch of the third and the first strings. And really, to me, it's like getting all the way down to almost like a D minor shape here, right? That's the chord that this is based off. That's it, okay? So rhythmically, I'm going one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Okay, then we jump back in on that open D, but we syncopate it. It's like three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, when we loop it back around. So. Okay, so all together, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one and two and. Okay, then we go into this awesome little bluesy bendy part here. We're playing the fifth string twice, then do a little pull on the third fret of the fifth string then open D, pull the fourth string third fret to open D. Three E and, three E and a, four E and a, one and two and. Then we hold down a D sus two chord, which is, it's like a D major chord, right? But without the first string. So that's open two, three, open there. And we're gonna do this arpeggio picking pattern. So that's strings one, two, three, then two, three, four, five. So. Okay, that's a tricky little run there. And then do it again. Then the last time. We end with this. And that's an F over C, which is three, three, two, one, and then go to and go to a D5. So just D without that high string, but it's muted. So one and two and three and four and so this whole riff from the lower part goes like this. Three E and a four E. All together, it's gonna go three E and a four E and a. Congrats on making it through this classic Bon Jovi guitar lesson. Be sure to take your time with this intro part and know that you're not gonna be able to hit every note perfectly when you start, but just keep practicing it and you'll get more consistent over time. And to help you along your way, be sure to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna make learning from my YouTube lessons so much easier. Also, let me know down below your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon.